Glioblastoma, so it's the most common primary brain tumor, but also one of the deadliest forms of cancer. So the current standard of care is surgery with a chemo radiation. However, unfortunately, it's just not effective. Uh, it only provides patients about a year of survival, and that number has not really improved in several decades. And one of the main challenges is that, uh, although we're really good at targeting the main tumor, the tumor spreads into the brain. And so we're just not able to see those invasive fingers, so the surgeons can't cut them out. Uh, most of the small molecule chemotherapies either can't enter the brain, or even if they can get there, they can't target and kill all those little invasive roots that are spread throughout the brain. And so because of that, the tumor almost recurs universally in patients. And so we just need a more effective treatment that can uh, target these invasive roots and fingers. When most people think of stem cells, they think of regenerative medicine. They think of regenerating the spine or rebuilding the brain. And that's certainly an important aspect of it. However, our work actually focuses on uh, a little known aspect of stem cells, and that is they can chase cancer. The new studies that we're reporting uh, show for the first time that we can morph human skin into cells that will target and kill human brain cancer cells. I think the most uh, uh, amazing thing about this technology is that it starts with the patient's own skin, which we all wear around and, and don't think much about, but there right on, right on the outside of our bodies is the potential treatment for our cancer. Uh, it's, doesn't require immunosuppressives, it's not a foreign tissue, it doesn't come from another person, and so there's uh, no chance of rejection of the tissue. Everybody has, has a source for this, so every patient could be a candidate. But our dream is to be able to use these cells to restore function, and so you can imagine these cells moving through the brain, not to find tumor cells, but to restore function that's been lost for people suffering from Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. And all we need to do that is a little bit of skin and a little bit of time.